Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to improve the performance for your PC after you install the Windows 10 on your PC. Okay, so basically, after you install a new version of your window on your PC, there are a lot of services and applications already installed on your PC. Uh, we have some the application and service you don't want to use, so you should remove it or disable it to make your PC run faster. In this video today, I will guide you how to do it. Okay, let's get started. First list, I will check the updates of my Windows version. Click on Start button. Click on Setting. In the Windows setting, you click on Update and Security option. It will open up the Windows Update page where you are able to check if we have a new version for the window, it will automatically get the latest version from the internet and then install it on your PC. I suggest you should set the window update in the automatically mode because we are using the window and some of the application on this PC. We should use the latest version because in the latest version, it will have to fix some of the security issue and other potential issue. That's why we need to have the window update frequently. And the second thing, close this one, and you open the this PC, open the C drive, we contain the window version. And you see that we have the window.o folder. After you install the window on the PC and you update the latest version, it will have the window.o folder, which contains the previous version of window. So we should delete this folder to increase the storage. You back to this PC and right click on the window property. And in the window property, you click on this cleanup. It will open up the disk cleanup for C drive. On this pop-up, you click on cleanup system file. It will calculate how much space you will be able to do freeze on this drive after we delete some of the unnecessary file. It will open up another dialog. And you can see here, we have some of the files to delete. You go ahead to select the file you want to be deleted. For now, I will select the Microsoft Defender Antivirus Window Update Log File and scroll it down. And you can select the whole thing here. In order to delete the window.o folder, you select the previous window installation. If you select this one, it will help you to increase a lot of gigabyte for the drive. Because we are going to release a lot of files in the window.o file, so it will take a long time to complete this action. You just go ahead to click on OK button here to perform the action for the list of window.o file. However, in this video, I will leave it by default. I don't want to execute this job for now because when I execute this job, it will make my PC running slowly. I can show this one and I will come back to release it later on. OK button. The next thing, you should delete some of the unnecessary default application and feature. You go ahead to click on Start and go to Setting. You type in the file setting tick box here. App, uh, default app. It will open up the default app. You select, you take a look into the left menu, select the app and feature. In the app and feature, you scroll it down and see that there are a lot of the default app already installed or together with the new window version on this PC. So now you select this one and you can click on uninstall, uninstall to remove it. Uninstall this one. You can remove one by one. However, we have a lot of the default application here. You cannot go one by one to remove the unnecessary application because it will take the time for you. I suggest that we install third party application. It will help you to remove the whole thing default application at one time. 
let's go ahead to open the browser and you type in the IOB uninstaller. This is the free software. Click in the setup file to install this on the PC. Install. No thanks. No thanks. Finish. And after that, it will open up the software. You go ahead to select the window app because we want to see the list of the default window app already installed on this PC. And then we will delete the unnecessary software. Let's go ahead to click on window app. For now, we have a 45 application. For example, I want to delete the alarm and clock and the calculator money. Okay. Assuming I already select some of the unnecessary application I don't want to use on this PC. And then go ahead to click on uninstall button on the top right hand. Left everything by default here. Just go ahead to click on uninstall button. And then the tool will have to remove the selected default app for you. De depending on how many applications you want to remove, so it will take the time longer or not. And the next step, you click on the delete button to perform the action to delete, delete some related information for the application here. Okay, you have successfully uninstalled free window app with detail below. And after that, it will refresh the dashboard. You see, for now, in this uh, display, the 45 application. For now, after we delete three F, it will left the 42, close this one, and we go to the next action. The next action, you should stop unnecessary services on the window. I will right-click on Start button and select the Run. In the run, I will type in the service dot msc. It will open up the services on my PC. There are two status running or not running. For example, I you scroll it down and you find some the service you don't want to use. For me, I will disable the Windows Start. Windows search because when you enable the Windows search, it will reduce the performance for the PC. Double click on this one and I will change the startup time to the disable. Apply. And back to the top, I also don't want to use the background intelligence transfer service. Stop. And OK. Close this one. The last step, you should install some of the necessary application. It will be helpful for you. For example, I already installed the Camtasy. This is my favorite application on this PC because I always use this one to record the video for you guys. And also install the Office, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and other application. So, I hope this video will have fun for you. After you finish this video, you know how to do some of the uh, setting and configuration to remove some unnecessary file service and window O version and other things to improve the performance for your PC. So you install a new version of Windows 10 on your PC. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.